please get an iced hot chocolate with two pumps of white chocolate in? Hello. Really? Very, very <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome to a juicy Q&A slash Starbucks mukbang with me. I hope you're okay and I hope you're having a lovely week. Happy Tuesday guys. Right, let's just try this drink so I can get chatting. I have got a iced hot chocolate, two pumps of white chocolate. It is so good. The man was really nice. I was going to ask him for like a dome cup but he just seemed so nice that I just didn't want to ruin his vibe so okay we'll deal with this little hole but look at this i'm gonna be able to mix it guys i haven't had one of these for weeks run to starbucks and get this because when i tell you it's the nicest drink mm, i shouldn't it doesn't really go through the straw properly but oh my god it's my favorite i love it so i got that i also got some watermelon slices and look, the man said that they fit in the thing. How weird's that? It must be like a special cutter. And then I also got a cinnamon swirl because these are just my favourite. If that lorry parks in front of me, I'm going to cry because he's going to ruin all my sunlight. Can you not see him film the video? Anyway, I thought today that we could have a little bit of like a juicy Q&A together. So I asked for some questions off you guys on Instagram. And before I start, can I just say that even though like I've got so many questions so many of you are just like are you okay and that is just so like you guys mean like so much to me like there's so many like blah 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 but just want to check you're okay like hope you're doing okay like how are you feeling you're all so sweet and just know that i'm sending you so much love and positivity and good vibes because i really truly truly am so i'll start with that question anyway how are you so many of you ask that um but how am I? I feel like very good. I feel like at the moment, like I'm just in a little bit of like a transition. You know, when you feel like you're transitioning from one chapter into the other. And I'm just not sure what that like next chapter is going to really look like. I'll sort of get into it because I don't want to um, talk over some other questions. But let's open the watermelon. Um, yeah, I just don't really know what what like life's going to really look like for the next couple of months. Like, I just feel like I'm in a bit of a... Yeah, like a bit of a transition, but... Mmm! Ah, oh, Watermelon just makes me feel like I'm on holiday. Beautiful. But I feel good, like... I do feel very good in myself. I feel like I'm just trying to, like, make sure I'm focused. I've got daily goals, I've got weekly goals, blah, 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 all that good stuff. But I feel really good, like, I feel positive. Um... If your car isn't a mess, are you even a teenage girl? Teenage girl, I'm not even a teenager, I'm nearly 22. <laughs> That's so sad. Um, but yeah, I feel really good, I feel positive, like I feel excited. Um, so yeah, I am okay guys, thank you for um, asking. And honestly, the one thing that always makes me feel good is YouTube, so how good's that? Um, I'll get this one out the way, where's the headband from um, that, you, that Mia gave you in your last vlog? She got it from Amazon. I'll text her today and I'll get the link and I'll put it in the description box. But it's that like black scraped back headband. It is a vibe. I love it. I haven't worn it the last few days. I wonder where it is. But um, yeah, Amazon. <laughs> <coughs> How are you doing, Angel? I love you. I love you too. Um, advice for getting out of a rut. You always seem so positive. Okay, I pride myself on my positivity and my positive mindset and i feel like all these q a's always end up going down this route but honestly i just remember being in sixth form and i didn't really know what like i didn't really enjoy what i was doing like i was again like i was in a bit of a transition like i i don't know like in sixth form i was just a bit like oh, like i just wasn't really i don't know I don't know it's just a weird time I guess and I remember just like being surrounded by a lot of like negative and I wasn't really vibing at sixth form and I just remember saying like I'm just gonna be positive from now on like I literally like that I just sat I remember sitting there being like I don't know why I'm being so negative like from this moment forward I'm gonna be positive 
and I don't know like I've always just looked for a silver lining in any situation like I've always just tried to find like one positive even if I've got nine negatives I'll try and find that one positive and I will literally just like focus so much on that one that one thing and as much as like it's okay to um like obviously have dane days and recognize the negatives i just feel like it's a lot healthier for yourself to think about the positives so i don't know like i do a lot of journaling which i help like, which i find always really helps my like focus and honestly i just know how to get myself out of a rut which i feel like i mean i'll tell you my ways but um for the girl who asked you just really have to like find something that makes your soul feel good that for me is working out eating healthy watching a movie night with my boyfriend um youtube like although these are like very productive things if it's like taking your dog for a walk or going for a walk in nature or going swimming or um cooking like baking a cake like baking cookies with your mom like whatever it is that makes you feel good just like do these little things and i find that it just helps me get out of like a bad space the same with like if you're stuck in a rut i feel like just make a plan yesterday i put on my story like what are your goals for the week and so many of you it was so nice to see but you were like 10k steps a day i'm gonna eat healthy i'm gonna go on a walk every day i'm gonna be mindful i'm gonna read i'm gonna journal like all these little things will just help you like so much get out of um a bad space so i hope that helps i mean message me on instagram i'll be more than happy to have a little chat with you i literally love talking to you like when you guys message me i'm like ah, they want to talk to me <laughs> um where did you meet your boyfriend so if you guys don't know um me and ollie will have been together seven years in december um and we met seven years ago next month well we already we already know each other like it's a very long story and if i ever get ollie to do like a sit down video with me which is something i'll touch on in a little bit um because i saw a question about that then i'm sure we like we could explain the whole thing but essentially like we always knew each other we went to the same school we knew each other when we were younger and then literally was at a party one night house party vibes like he was in year going into year 11 i was going into year 10 little high school sweetheart and literally just started from there um and then in the december like we become like boyfriend and girlfriend um and that's literally it so it was literally just at a party like he was like the cool boy and um i was there with my friend and it was a boy in the year above's party and they were like let's play the um what's it called the ice cube game and i was like hmm, i'm not eating am i this is meant to be a mukbang yeah and he was like yeah this boy was like let's play the ice cube game so i just like slotted myself next to ollie because fun fact at the start of the summer there was me and two other girls there was three of us and we started like getting invited to the older years parties and we were like wanted boyfriends like we wanted to be cool so we basically like jinxed <laughs> which is so bad but we were basically like this summer we are gonna kiss like we just wanted to kiss like whatever um and i actually said i jinx what's it called bagsy jinx i'm not sure what the word would be but i bagsy ollie anthony and <laughs> then literally by the end of the summer like we were chatting on snapchat and i mean the rest is history guys and um, it'll be seven years in december so that's how we met but yeah there is like a big story about how we used to sort of like meet when we were younger and stuff um but it's such a long story um but yeah we're definitely meant to be together he's definitely my soulmate should i try the cinnamon swirl i love cinnamon swirls i did peek at the calories on the menu and it made me feel a bit sick i'm not going to tell you guys i don't want to ruin it for you but Mm, look at that how good are that is that okay i'll do a few uni questions because i don't want to talk about it too much because i did like a full um graduation get ready with me but first is graduation as scary as it looks i'm really scared about walking across so was i like i was really nervous i am definitely like nervous in those situations but honestly like when i tell you when you're there about to walk the stage like you're here you're like here you're behind the curtain 
you go here they call your name you get here and they've already called someone else's name like it's literally about you for like 0.1 seconds like it's really not scary i didn't even look at the like the stage or anything because you just don't really walk across you shake the hand you're off like it's not scary i promise you it's not scary um, and then the other question was how do you feel about finishing uni definitely weird um i feel like it's been obviously my life for three years so to now have like none like nothing it's a bit weird um but i mean i'm giving myself the year off so backstory um obviously at the end of first year my dad passed away and it was really sudden like i wasn't expecting it obviously nobody really was so and it happened in august and i was obviously meant to go back for second year in september and i was very close to deferring that year like i really did not want to go back like i was so depressed like i really didn't want to but i made myself what i mean i made myself go back um and complete because i just thought else oh, i'm just going to be sat at home for a year like being really sad so i made myself go back and basically now i'm just sort of having like the months off that i probably should have had then now like I, I could have had a gap year like i could have deferred and i didn't so i'm glad that i've got uni out the way but now i'm just taking like a few months to myself um and i'm like in a position financially where i can do that so i'm very blessed in that sense but yeah that's basically so i just feel a little bit like feels a bit weird finishing uni but at the same time i'm so proud of myself because one i never thought i'd even finish and two i did not think i'd finish with a first like i was manifesting that shit hard but i still just didn't really i don't know like to do that i was really proud so yeah so someone else asked what do you do for work and um, before lockdown before i even did youtube i was a waitress um at golf club that was so fun and um, well i say fun i didn't really like it towards the end but it was fun like i used to work with loads of my friends and i've made so many friends from working there and i'm literally still friends with now so literally two of my best friends i made from that job so i'm very um i do look at it fondly but yeah i did that for like four years then lockdown happened i got furlough luckily and then after dad passed i was like i cannot do uni and work like it just wouldn't have worked for me and especially third year uni honestly if you work through third year uni plus i do youtube and all this stuff so there's it's i just commend you if you can do it all because it was a lot doing uni regardless of even thinking about youtube um so at the minute like i said i'm having a few months off no pressure like me and ollie want to travel a little bit so ollie's self-employed so it means he can just like drop in and out of work realistically if i get a job and i'm contracted i can't just say yeah like i'm going to bali like see ya um so yeah well i don't really know this is what i mean like i'm in a bit of a right now but it's fine like i'm enjoying having time to myself i rent out two properties so your girl's a landlord if you didn't know um and i really want to find one more house for this year because my goal for this year was to have three so that would be three so um yeah i'm a landlord i rent out properties i don't really talk about it on youtube because i just feel like it's a bit like boring i'm not boring but i don't know like i'm very aware of how um like i'm very aware of how these opportunities arose and they're not really positive ones and i know that a lot of 21 year olds aren't in a position to do that so yeah i like to just sort of you know just leave that behind the scenes almost i don't really um talk about it too much so i run take two properties obviously i do socials and i'm very blessed to be in a position where i can put like literally all my time into doing it um but yeah the goal is to just be self-employed so um i don't know i might re i might get something part-time like for the next few months i don't i really don't know but i don't want to do like a part i don't know i'm in two minds like do i just do a part-time job that i don't really care about because i know it's not going to be my job forever or do i try and find something like part-time that i really love doing but then like i don't want to get sucked into it too much because i know that it's not what i want to do 
do you know what i mean it's a bit of a weird one so um yeah i don't know um sarah asked how can you can you tell us about how you manifest etc okay um manifest law of attraction all that good stuff first of all i would recommend you read the secret and just watch like youtube videos there's so many youtube videos out there about different methods and like tiktok's really good for it now too because like in the youtube like era you sort of had to sit for like a 20 minute video um but on tiktok literally someone shows you how to do it in 30 seconds so really tiktok's where it's at this is so juicy i'm really proud of my makeup today too looks cute right so manifesting what i do and what has worked really well i'll tell you a few things um just literally go on youtube manifestation music get your vibration up like listen to some music really zone into it basically to start with you have to think of an affirmation of something that you want to manifest into your life so for example um i'll tell you something that happened to me um and i believe that it was through manifesting so i decided to do the 555 method which for five days you write the same affirmation 55 times a day so mine was i'm a famous youtuber um and i would write that down i'm a famous youtuber i'm a famous youtuber 55 times on the third day one of my tiktok videos blew up got like 200,000 views or something the sun write a an article about it and in the article the, it said youtuber comma jody may blah 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 blah. so i feel like that was the affirmation manifesting itself and that's like the most real um like plain example that i've had literally on the third day that happened and then i was like whoa like that was a crazy result from what i've been writing down so that's basically what it is but you can do so many different ways pardon me you can write like scribe it down um you can say it you can shut your eyes and literally like visualization is a very good one especially if they're like physical goals i do that a lot with like my dream house i always like would shut my eyes i don't do it so much now i don't know why but i used to shut my eyes and i could just picture like my daily life you could write like a day let's say if in five years you want to be a famous journalist who lives in an apartment in london write a letter but like write a diary entry as if you are living as that person so i wake up i jump in the shower i go um out of my apartment in the lift and you literally have to write the most like tiny details make that make that feel like it's so real and true and you just truly have to believe it um like i know that one day youtube will be my full-time job um i kept saying i'm gonna have a first class degree i'm gonna have first class degree i'm gonna have a i'm gonna be a first class graduate blah 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 i am like you just really have to believe it so that's personally how i do it um you can get someone did ask as well like what do you how do you journal um typically i'll write five affirmations a day so they for me can be i'm a millionaire you you have to write as if you have don't write as if you want write as if you have and that's what the universe will give you so i am a millionaire i am a famous youtuber um i drive i drive my dream car i live in my dream house i'm happy i'm healthy i'm loved my relationship is healthy um blah 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 like my partner is loving to me all stuff like that you write as if you have um and then i'll write three things that i'm manifesting so like maybe i'll write my tiktok videos blow up or um i'm manifesting happiness and health mm, this is too good <laughs> i hope that's my hair oh no that looks blonde yeah so 
and then I'll write three things I'm grateful for. So my health, my boyfriend, my dogs. That's how I'll journal most days. Okay, someone asked, why doesn't your boyfriend like to be on YouTube? Um, to be fair, Ollie is more open to it in the recent months. Um, the, the short of it is, like, he didn't choose to do YouTube. I did, and, like, just because I want to do it, I just can't expect everyone else to want to do it in my life. Like, I'm very lucky that my best friend does it too, so we can, like, do this together. But, like, Ollie never decided to do it, and, like, I fully respect that. Like, it's just even, like, getting my mum in it. Like, my mum doesn't mind being in them. Like, don't get me wrong, but she didn't choose to do YouTube, so... I can't just like force her to be in it likewise with like other family and like my brothers they're always like no I don't want to be in it like it's just the same but to be fair Ollie has got like more open to it and I think oh the camera just needs to restart the thing is with Ollie like he's even said himself like he's in a bit of a position where he either stands in the back because obviously I'm going to be vlogging and like he's awkward or like he just goes for it and like he just chats to you guys but then he's like but then like he didn't choose to do youtube so it is a bit of a hard one and i can see why some youtubers just completely keep like relationships off camera but i mean we did have a conversation the other day where like because we always say like especially ollie like he always says like, oh like i wish i could have like met my granddad when he was like 20 i know that's like literally impossible but like he always says like, oh, i wish that i could have done that and i did say like well in a way like our grandkids not that they'll be able to meet us but like they'll be able to type my name into youtube and all these videos will come up and they'll literally be able to watch watch me when i'm 20 and i was like especially with holiday vlogs he does like like vlogging on holiday and stuff i guess because they are like just pure memories but i don't know if i'd ever get him like sat next to me right now doing a sit down video i don't know like maybe one day but i mean i don't really care if he does or not like it would be nice if he did so you guys could get to know him because he's an angel but this isn't the ollie anthony channel it's the jody may channel so like any bit of ollie content we get we just got to be grateful for on my face right let's find another question how do you keep so motivated i'm not always motivated guys please don't think that i don't always feel motivated i really don't so i got how do you keep so motivated and then someone else asked how do you keep so motivated with healthy eating i don't always i mean look at me now this isn't health but it is balance i've got watermelon too <laughs> so motivated with life lists um i just remind myself that i want to be the best version of myself possible i always talk about wanting to be the best have the best of everything like i always want to know the best skincare the best way i can make my health does that make sense like the best i always want to know like everything like how can i make my hair look the healthiest how can i grow my eyelashes to be the most natural and healthy like everything like my nails like i always want the best of everything and that's the same with life so I, that is what like keeps me going but i'm not always motivated like at all like some days i literally do nothing like i'll have a big to-do list and i end up not really doing any of it and that's fine like no one can expect you to be motivated 100% of the time in terms of eating slash fitness fitness again like I haven't been in the best I'm not always motivated with fitness like I try and like I, if I get four workouts done a week then like I'll consider that well but again like I want to be the most healthy I can be and I want my body to be the best version of itself so that I would say keeps the motivation but it's more discipline just waiting for a lorry to go past um it's more honestly discipline like it's not even really like motivation it's just like i've got to get up and go i have that type of body where if i don't work out and if i don't eat healthy like weight goes on like so quickly and it just it doesn't make me feel confident i'm very blessed that i am confident in myself and i think that just comes because i know that 
like I eat well most of the time and I move my body whether it's even just a dog walk like I'll count that like yeah like at least I've got some steps in or whatever so it's all about being realistic but I just try and work towards the goal like I know I want to be in the best shape possible um and yeah healthy eating like I do do a lot of what I eat in a day is on TikTok and um i mean watch them like see what i eat it's not 100 percent clean i try and be as clean as possible but i feel like you just go up and down like some weeks i eat really good and then other weeks i'm just like completely like <laughs> random but it's just life and i know as long as i eat like more if as long as i eat more good than bad then i'm okay so i don't really know and i think i've just come from like quite a healthy eating like household like um, my dad would always just eat super healthy so like we've just sort of grew up eating food like that so i just naturally sort of cook food like that if someone asked could you do what i eat in a day slash week or a gym routine on youtube i will film a what i eat in a day video more in depth maybe even this week i'll film it um <laughs> I will film it and get it up for you. I did one at the start of the year, so maybe go and watch that. Yeah, forward planning is also really good um, to be motivated. So, yeah, I'll do a what I eat in a day this week, and I'll show you guys my gym routine too. But, yeah, I, don't, I upload them on YouTube a lot, on TikTok even, a lot. So, go and watch that. Someone said, where do you see yourself in five years? And then someone else said, what's your 10-year plan? So, I'll do the five years first. Um five years i will be 26 that's sickening and i'll be nearly 20 so i'll be coming 27 i hope well by that point my like dream would be someone else did ask as well what's your biggest goal um these are my old time but five year plan i'll be 26 so married i my my like plan would be buy a house like in the near future blah 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 like build our businesses both be completely like financially free in that sense like have a lot of businesses going on honestly the goal is just to have like passive income like businesses that make you money while you sleep is the ultimate goal for both of us so we've both got like individual businesses that like we sort of are working on slash do work on and then we also have like businesses that we want to do like together so the goal is generally to just have passive income so by that point i would hope that we're very like settled like we're doing well for ourselves at this point we're married if not then we're like yeah i want to be married in five years i'm not even gonna lie if i'm not married i'll be married that year in on the fifth year um so yeah i hope that we're married um 2026 yeah definitely married completely self-employed social media is my full-time job i own a clothing brand which is super successful we've got two dogs we've got a beautiful home we're both really healthy um traveling like maybe we've got a holiday home that's one of my biggest goals like i think one of my biggest goals is to be in a position to have like a home abroad where like all our family can go and um stuff like that so yeah probably holiday home married maybe a kid no probably not a kid maybe like maybe i'd be pregnant i don't know like i don't really have as much as i want like kids and whatever four to be precise i want four babies but like not right now like not even in the near future like i would probably say like a good probably like five years would probably be when i'd be like yeah like we could have a baby now um, and like be, being 27 when you have your first baby like i think that's quite nice like for me personally some people like want kids a lot younger some people want kids a lot later but yeah i'd say like late 20s for babies um and then 10 years by that point i would want like our dream home because i would be 
31. <laughs> that makes me feel so sad. Yeah, I'll be 31. So by this point, I would want the dream home. I'd want like the, the big land, the big staircase, like walking in the double doors. I definitely want um, a holiday home by this point. 31, maybe like two, three kids. They're popping out every couple years. Um, both like I would at this point we we better be rich my biggest goal would be to be in a position to not have for my mom not to have to work and um, I'd love to pay her mortgage off for her like that is like when I do that that will just be the biggest I hope that's not someone's hair that was just on my lip oh the cinnamon bun Ew. There's nothing on it. So that holiday home to have the big home where everyone comes for Sunday dinner, um, or like our nieces and nephews and all of like because ollie's got five brothers think about any nieces and nephews we're gonna have i hope that like our house is the one where everyone comes to um for christmas and like we have them all for sunday dinner and like, all that good stuff like that is honestly my goal like to just be able to have like big summer barbecues like just like have lots of family time so i feel like family is just everything to us so yeah, pay my mum's mortgage off, have my mum even like, I mean I don't want her to have to work but to sort of have her work for me would be the goal like of what, whatever business she thought sort of felt like she wanted to work within, like have a look after, you know what I mean, like just have her like around a lot would be the goal. Someone said why does it seem like you don't have many friends? Um, honestly like my circle is very small and i don't me and me have spoke about this um quite a lot i don't know whether when you get like into a relationship very young obviously i was literally like 14 15 i don't know whether you sort of just don't have as many friends because like that person you just do like everything with and like you're very secure in that and i don't know like when i was 18 like i weren't really that bothered about going out clubbing like i didn't i would go but like i'm not a drinker or anything so and also that's why i don't drink alcohol um i just not really into it guys hate the taste hate the hangover hate being out of control of my actions so drinking just isn't for me but i don't know if that's like something like when i was 18 like i just weren't going out with like loads of girls like getting drunk and whatever i was literally like just chilling at home so yeah i don't know whether that is but i mean i do have friends like i've got lots of friends from uni like but my circle is small and i like it that way like if you're not serving me as a good friend like you can just leave you can exit like the door is open if you're not like if you're not gonna be if you're not a good friend like i don't even want to be friends at that point like it's just one of those the memory card's full um yeah if you're not a good friend then you're not a friend in my opinion like the door is open um and i feel like i don't know why there's so much pressure in society to have like big groups of friends like for me i would rather have three unreal 10 out of 10 friends that i know are going to be there in like a second care about me like appreciate me um like clap me on every achievement than 10 friends that don't really give a fuck and like they're all bitching about each other anyway which is normally how it is with girls especially with big groups like just not into it used to be in those groups when i was at school loved it thrived from it i've grown up like i'm just not about it anymore so yeah i'm a very like honestly like a low maintenance friend like chat to me when you've got time i'll see you when you've got time but on the big moments like clap and if you're not clapping like i'm just not i don't know so maybe that's why like i don't know i just don't feel a need like i know i have everything in my family i'm very close with my family and obviously i'm very close with um ollie obviously like 
so i just know that i don't know i'd rather like focus on the relate on those relationships than have like 10 unnecessary friends that don't really care um but yeah i do have friends i just don't really put them in videos because um they're not youtubers like that's probably why it seems like my only friend is mia <laughs> because she's the only one who comes on the channel but um yeah i just i don't know i don't think friends i think can be a bit overrated sometimes if you've got like good relationship and you've got a good family like i've always been very close with my brother so yeah i don't know maybe maybe i don't have many friends i don't know but yeah if friends aren't serving you i would just say see ya yeah i'm happy in myself so guys i think that is going to go ahead and complete today's video i hope you guys all did really enjoy it if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below i'll also link my socials so you can follow me on there because i'm literally posting daily so you can catch up with me on there but i hope you did enjoy this little video let me know if you want more like chilled sit down videos like this i feel like it's nicer sometimes just like check in with you and just say hi answer some juicy questions so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it i'll catch you on thursday with a new video and don't forget guys be positive be positive productive grateful appreciative blessed queens and let's just smash our lives and be the best versions of ourselves so i'll catch you on thursday and i love you all thanks for watching bye guys